Temple here against Jacob Gio. In fact, versus Grixis Control, both these players 5-0. Now, one card that Thompson will have some difficulty against is Wild Defiance. And I, I, I like this card on the sideboard, and this is part of the reason that I was surprised by the lack of Bitter Blossom in Hoagland's sideboard. Grixis Control and the Grixis Colors in general, they are not good against enchantments. Looks like Ink Moth might be coming across here. I see Thompson does have a flip chase at this point. It's only on two counters. Now, here's an attack. Going to bring it down to one counter. We're going to head back Thompson's way. Well, he knew it was on top of his deck, and it's a real doozy in this match. Piscopi of Pia and Kieran Nalar. Two Thopters will be joining as well. And that Jace did tick up to slow down the Glistener Elf. So it looks like we're walking into a game where Thompson might be in pretty good shape. Two chump blockers here is a pretty big game. They're not even chump blockers, excuse me. They're just blockers. Oh, yeah. And blockers, very important when your opponent has Wild Defiance. Here comes Glistener Elf. And right now, it's attacking for not very much. Pia and Kieran going to get in front. There's a Groundswell. But the trick here is, as that Groundswell plus Wild Defiance combo is going to make that Glistener Elf a lot bigger, the trick here is that Jerry actually just wants that card in the graveyard. Because he's got a Colgon's Command. Mm -hmm. So he's happy with putting that in the graveyard. You can actually see his hand right now. Another funky one there in Counter Squall. Any cheap interaction is going to be good against Infect. Yeah. I mean, two mana is starting to hit the point of being a little bit too expensive for the matchup, which really shows how fast Infect can be. But any negate's good. This is another negate. Noble Hierarch going to come down. The listener elf looks like it's going to come across for two, maybe. Thompson with a little bit to think about right now. Yeah, Wild Defiance makes things a little awkward for Colagon's command. Mm -hmm. And the Blighted Agent means that it's not quite as simple as just get back PA Kira and Alar, replay it, and lock them out that way. Snapcaster Mage. See what that's going to target down there. Thompson would like permission to block. And it looks like Murderous cut the target, which is a pretty good choice. And now here comes Murderous cut. Thompson, an app, a, a huge fan of this card across yeah. all formats, really. Uh, th this card is through the roof in power level. And uh, it will not surprise me when this card becomes a staple of modern and potentially legacy as well. Down goes the Noble Hierarch. Thompson's going to get to untap here. He'll draw a card. Still got that active Jace out there. Going to take up to four. It's going to slow down Blighted Agent. Thompson feeling confident enough that he can attack for one in the air. He also felt confident enough that he used a murderous cut on a mana creature rather than an infect creature. Yeah. Not a great sign if you are playing infect. We'll see what's next here for Jacob Keo. He's in a bad spot right now, that's for sure. Despite the nature of the deck, not a lot in the way of creature removal, creatures with good utility powers are pretty challenging for Infect to answer, and, and Jace is uh, very high on the list of the best ones you can have. It's a little slow, but once it's online, the plus power is excellent against Infect, and flashing back removal spells is very powerful as well. Looks like Thompson's probably thinking, discard, get back Pia and Karen, but we'll confirm the modes here on the Kolagon's command. That's exactly what he's going to do. Twisted image down, Pia coming back to the grip. Now Thompson will sacrifice that Scalding Tarn, go get himself a watery grave. You can see the plan here. Stay alive long enough, get to PA Kieran, or get to the point where you can cast multiple spells in a turn, and then life's pretty good. And, uh, you know, another good way of summarizing the game is just look how many cards are on each side of the table. Yeah. 
Gio's just been getting run out an endless sea of two for ones here for Thompson. Thompson got a plus. And now he's feeling confident he's going to tackle both of these Thopper tokens because he knows he's got some more coming in just a second. Chandra's parents have shown up. They'll bring a couple Thopters along with them. Here's a creeping tar pit. And now we go back over to Gio. And I don't know if there's a way out here for Jacob. Looks like he's just been worn down. You mentioned look at what's on the battlefield. It's not a lot. And if you take a look at how much, in fact, Thompson has, the big donut. Mm -hmm. Looks like he'll play a copy of Attack Sam Probe. See a counter squall. Might not be familiar with that one, but it is a counter spell esque effect. Counter target non creature spell. It's a negate. It's a little bit tougher on the mana, but Thompson's deck does have a bit of an aggressive element to it, so willing to pay the extra cost. A lot of people forget this one does exist. And Gio does draw a card from that probe. But again, is there a way out for him in this situation? That's the question. Well, it's got to be this turn because once Thompson untaps the counter squall, uh, I don't see a path back in. Blight Agent might want to come in, but it's not going to be dealing all that much. It's going to be attacking for very little. There's a copy of Vines of the Vastwood. You're going to get a trigger there from Wild Defiance to make it a little bit bigger, but it's not even, it's not even the big punch that we've seen Vines do previously mm -hmm. with this deck. So it looks like two infect. Pass the turn back. Thompson will draw. And there's another land. The lands aren't so bad here for Jerry. Here come the attackers. Gonna plus pass the turn back. For Gio, might be his last draw step of the match. Well, I guess he gets a redraw here. Take a look at the counter score. Thompson again. can just counter this. Yeah. Yeah, that'll take care of it. Just counter this. It's kind of dead on the way back, so yeah. no reason not to. Jerry Thompson going to win this match here over Jacob Gio. Two games to zero. Grixis Control going to take care of Infect. And for Jerry T, it's another victory, and it's a 6-0 start here in Las Vegas. Yeah, a player with quite the invitational track record. And it was funny in between the standard and modern rounds. The, the number of cards between the two decks that are shared, I was watching him de-sleeve and re-sleeve, it's a lot of the same stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Colgon's Command, Murderous Cut, a lot of lands. It, a lot of overlap between his two decks.